Hi everyone and welcome back to Plants and Lucia. My name is Lucia and this is my name. Today we will talk about the beautiful Anthurium and how to take care of it. Okay, coming up! Whether you're coming back or this is your first time in this channel, thank you so much for being with me and watching this video. This video is a remake out of popular demand because this plant is super beautiful and I made a video about it but it was a long time ago. So I wanted to make a new one with more information and hopefully it's useful. So let's get to it. Okay, so the Anthurium plant is also commonly known as the flamingo flower. This is because of the pink bracts that it actually displays. Some people think that these are flowers, but actually these are leaves that actually are there to attract pollinators. And the flower is just the part in the center. So as you can see, we don't have flowers right now in our Anthurium, but whenever it has flowers, it can last for weeks. And it is very beautiful. It is a very easy house plant to grow, so let's see how you can keep her happy at your house. So when we talk about humidity, this is actually a tropical plant, so she usually likes moderate to high humidity. What I do to increase humidity levels with my plants is that I put them with other tropical plants because they tend to help each other with humidity. Another way to help with humidity is to put her with a humidity tray or close to a humidifier. In terms of temperature, again because this is a tropical plant, you want to put her in a place that is warm. So a room that is between 15 to 20 degrees Celsius should be very good for her. When we talk about sunlight, this plant likes bright, indirect sunlight. So put her in a bright room, but where she gets indirect sunlight. This means sunlight that is filtered somehow with a curtain or a place where she gets sunlight, but it's not direct sunlight. So I would say not so close to a window, especially if this is a south facing window. In terms of water, you want to water moderately. So the way that I check with this plant if she needs water is with my finger. I put my finger inside the soil until the second knuckle and once I feel that the soil is dry, then I water. I usually check the soil every week. And during the growing season, I usually water every week. In the winter, the soil tends to take longer to dry out, so I cut back on water. And of course, the method that I use is my favorite method, which is the bottom watering method. This method helps me get the water into the roots from below, and once I'm done, I make sure that the water drains down, so the soil is moist but not wet. I can tell you this method helps me so much to not overwater my plants. The way that I fertilize my plant is with an organic fertilizer. So any 111 organic fertilizer or 222 organic fertilizer is very good for her. And remember, fertilize during the growing season. So here in Berlin for this plant, it will be from spring to summer. In terms of potting mix, this plant is super adaptable, so you can actually use an all-purpose houseplant potting mix. If you want to make your own, I recommend that you use 7 parts coconut foil, 2 parts perlite, and 2 parts worm castings. Some of the most common problems with this plant include leaf tips turning brown. I actually had this problem with my plant because I had to put her away from other plants as it had some pests. The pests are gone, but actually I have some tips of the leaves turning brown. So this can be caused because you have dry air around the plant or too much sunlight. In my case, I think it is because there is too much dry air. So I'm going to try to increase humidity now. Number two, too many leaves but no flowers. So one reason for this is that your plant is not getting enough sunlight. If this is the case, just move to a brighter spot, but remember not to put her in direct sunlight. Second reason is that the pot may be too big for your plant. This may be the case if there are more than one to two centimeters between the edge and the root bulb. To solve this, just repot your plant to a pot that is one to two sizes smaller. The third factor that may be causing lots of leaves but no flowers is that you're not fertilizing your plant. As I said before, I usually fertilize my plant every two weeks during the growing season with an organic fertilizer. But of course, make sure to check the instructions in the fertilizer that you get. 
Common problem number three, yellow leaves. This can be related to two reasons. First is that you're overwatering your plants. So remember, always let the soil dry in between waterings. And I recommend the bottom watering method to prevent overwatering. The second reason for this may be that you are overfeeding your plant. So giving her too much fertilizer. Organic fertilizers tend to be less concentrated. So with these, it's easier to control that we don't overfeed our plant. But of course, it's up to you. Just make sure that you read the instructions when fertilizing your plant. If you feel that you overfed your plant, you can stop fertilizing for a month or two. Okay, my friends, so these are some of the tips that have helped me keep this plant happy at our house. Make sure to always observe your plant because this also depends on where you are located. So this is a guidance, but not a gospel. The most important thing is to observe your plant and see what works and what doesn't. Okay, do you have an answer about your house? How do you take care of it? Please make sure to comment below so we can all learn together. If you would like to be part of this community, you're always welcome. So make sure to subscribe so we can see each other every week and talk about plants. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Okay, ciao! <laughs>